morning children once again i am here today i am going to cover the topic states of matter it is a common topic of chemistry in all three classes 6 7 and 8 matter what is matter all of you know very well who are learning since childhood on very junior classes anything that occupies space and has mass anything that occupies space and has mass is called matter okay you can a small dust particle to a huge big aeroplane everything is matter matter also can be felt by the our sense organs we can touch it we can feel it like air air we cannot see but we can feel and air also considered as matter because it has a space and it occupies a space and so many experiments in uh, that is how you will prove that air has weight because you take the two equal size balloon uh, blow with the uh, same size means almost equal amount of air you fill in the balloon and keep in both side of weighing balance you will see that it will remain in center if you will puncture one balloon then what will happen the scale will go lower with that side with the uh, means which value is uh, not punctured that side why it get down because of the weight of air similarly air occupies uh, space this is also proved balloon when we are blowing the air the, uh, the size of balloon increasing that means the air is occupying the space so in this way uh, it has proved that air which we cannot able to see by our eyes that is also the matter and even a small dust particle uh, any object you are looking around all are the matter if we see the matters are in this universe matters are existing in three states three states of matter all the matters are classified mean some matters are in solid state some matters are in liquid state and some matters are in gaseous state to so solid liquid and gas these are the three states of matter and the properties of this three state are completely different if we in short uh, compare the solid liquid and gas their property Gases are also. 
from one direction to other direction gases can flow in all direction liquid mainly flows from the uh, upper to lower direction okay solids are not compressible almost incompressible we cannot compress the solid but liquids are slightly compressible very little but gases are highly compressible
molecules are not steady molecules are moving at random manner there is a force of attraction there is force of attraction between the molecules means each molecule attracts the another molecule so this force of attraction it is uh, which is called intermolecular force of attraction intermolecular force of attraction
of the state that is solid liquid and gas i hope all of you understood this point so for uh, this is the states of matter which is useful for the classes 6 7 and 8 all the three classes thank you children